Researchers in the U.S. say they believe migratory fish carry radioactive substances across the Pacific Ocean. They found a trace amounts of cesium in tuna caught off the coast of California five months after the accident. Researchers from Stanford University and elsewhere tested 15 bluefin tuna they caught last August off San Diego. They found the fish contained elevated levels of cesium-134. They say the substance is generated only by human activities and was not present in the Pacific before the accident. The researchers say their findings suggest that tuna were most likely contaminated in Japanese waters after the accident. They say the fish then travelled nearly 9,000 kilometres across the Pacific. Still, the researchers say the tuna are still safe to eat. Hundreds of bluefin tuna uploaded in a, or unloaded, that is, in a port in western Japan for this year's first catch. A crane was used to unload the 500 bluefin tuna, weighing a total of 18 tons, in Sakai Port in Totori Prefecture on Saturday. Fishermen caught the tuna in the Sea of Japan off the northeast Tohoku region. After being gutted and stuffed with ice, the tuna, each weighing 30 to 50 kilograms, were put on auction at the port's market. We are very delighted because we were looking forward to the first bluefin tuna catch. The tuna fetched better prices than those last year uh, at about $22 to $35 per kilogram. The fishing industry in northeast Japan has taken a step forward in its recovery from last year's nuclear accident. Fishermen conducted their first test catch for commercial purposes off Fukushima Prefecture since the March 11th disaster. No radioactive substances were detected in the marine products. They will go on sale next week. The Prefectural Federation of Fisheries Cooperative Association says it chose three kinds of test samples. They showed radiation levels that were low enough to be undetectable by radioscope. Two kinds of octopus and one type of shellfish were tested for radioactivity on Friday and Saturday at the port of Matsukawaura in Soma City. The octopus and shellfish will be boiled and processed before being sold at supermarkets in the city next week. Evening. The 15 months since the disaster were very difficult for fishermen. I feel like we can finally smile. The Fishery Federation plans to conduct another round of fishing before the end of the month. It hopes to sell its catches in Tokyo and other major markets. Seafood caught off Fukushima Prefecture hit the shelves for the first time since last year's nuclear accident. Local fishermen tested three types of seafood last week and found no radioactive materials. Supermarkets in the cities of Soma and Fukushima are selling octopus and shellfish. Retail prices were set about 30 percent lower than before the accident. Fishermen haven't been able to fish for 15 months. Now that they can start fishing again, we want them to do their best and we'll support them. Spokespersons for a local fisheries association say the fishermen hope to ship their next catch to Tokyo and other large cities if they get a good response. Loaded the first catch at the port of Matsukawa Ura in the municipality of Soma. Mayor Hidekiyo Tachiya and members of the fishing industry gathered at the wharf and ate samples. They also inspected a facility created to test marine products for radiation. The mayor says his city will let the whole nation know seafood from Fukushima is safe. Participants received a lunchbox containing nine items, including the octopus and jellyfish that's now back on supermarket shelves. I cannot believe they're selling uh, octopus and snails off the coast of Fukushima. You're right. I can't believe it either. It's it's fascinating how they've uh, declared that octopus and, and snails are safe. They they boiled them first, and then they checked for radiation. Of course, they didn't check the water they were boiled in, but they checked the the octopus and and, and snails after they were boiled and claim they they were uh, satisfactory. But the interesting thing is they're not selling them boiled; they're selling them raw. But yet the tests were done on boiled, which, of course, would drive off some of the radiation. So um, it, it, you're right. It is fascinating. You know, it's interesting because while the Japanese are allowing fish to, uh, to be sold now from near Fukushima, um, South Korea just banned 35 different uh, seafood products from Japan. This is, this is also today. 
So here in the United States, we have this don't ask, don't tell. You know, we don't ask the Japanese what's in it, and they don't tell us. But... But um, but the South Koreans are banning Japanese imports of uh, of seafood. Well, I've been told by by people in the State Department last year that um, that they were told by the United States government to to downplay the health effects of radiation. And so I think we've really gone out of our way not to measure. It may be that there's a standard there, and uh, um, the, the federal agencies and even the state agencies are simply not measuring the, the, the stuff. Um, I've been working on the West Coast, and, and I'm trying to get uh, um, the people in Oregon to demand of their state, the people in Alaska, demand of your state, you know, check the salmon. Um, it, it, it is not difficult. It's on the order of $500, pound, $500 of fish. Of course, you don't have to test every fish, but let's test a couple fish and see and uh, either alleviate the fear or, or announce that, yes, indeed, that they are radioactive.